Hey, what's up guys? It's Nash and welcome to episode 3 of Palea! We're back in my newest favorite game, my newest obsession for my day 3 progress. I can't wait to show you guys what we get up to today. I am hoping we get a lot done. There's still so much storyline, there's still so much to do. I want to make my house bigger, I want to get more crops, I want to do all kinds of things. So, can't wait for today. Let's uh, hop right in. Without further ado, let's do this thing. So I spent the morning just watering my crops. I also, last night when I was playing and grinding for levels a little bit, I had these going, which was nice. Uh, so we have like 50 stone brick. We have some ceramics. Uh, we have iron bar or uh, copper bars, as well as I made some more wood planks. Let me actually check this. So yeah, we have like 125 sapwood planks, a ton of wood. And we are doing good on that side of things. Now, we have a couple quests to get done today, so I think we might start out by just doing those. Uh, and level grinding. Level grinding is going to be a thing that I want to do today as well. Now, there's one easy thing here. I can fulfill five players' requests. Let's actually get that going. Let's look here. So this is where you can find the requests. Oh, man. Oh gosh, okay, I don't have any of this stuff. These must have just changed because I totally had what I could for to give requests just a second ago, but then they, they changed so quickly. So we're just gonna have to be checking that periodically throughout the episode. Let me check my mail. We have so much mail, my gosh. Okay, so H H Hadari has sent us a letter. So dear Nash, that pick uh, of yours is getting uh, that pick of yours is getting dull yet come on by i'll teach you the secrets of repairing it yes my tools actually have been getting really dull and have been dying and i was wondering how to repair them because i made repair kits and i couldn't do anything with them so and maybe something a little extra you can do with your silver ore beautiful Let's uh, see what Einar says. I see you have continued your pursuit in fishing. This is excellent news. I will have new rod recipes available for you the next time you exist in my vicinity. Nice. All right, Tish, your furniture making skill just gets better and better, but I have an idea on how you can get even better than better. Come see me soon and I'll show you how to make some of the furniture that's in the inn. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Ani, you'll never guess what recipe the Bug Scout sent me. It's for a sticky smoke bomb. I wonder what that's used for, sticky smoke bomb. Maybe it sticks to the bug? That's interesting. Okay, maybe I'll give you a chance to guess, but come see me and buy it, okay? All right, good thing I've been saving up my money because this is going to be a lot to buy. Dear Nash, I see your skills have slightly improved. I have been skill grinding, guys. I have been working on my skills a lot. Um, but you still have a long way to go. Still, perhaps you're ready for a new bow. I think so. And then Ashura. I'm so proud of how far your forging skill has come in such a short time. You remind me a bit of my son. He was so helpful around the house that my wife and I always thought he'd go into construction. Oh well, that's a story for another time. When you get the chance, you should stop by the inn. I can teach you how to make a new sawmill that matches your new skills. And from Badru, the last one, if you want in on a little farming secret, stop by my place later and lend me an ear. This time I promise I'm not talking about corn. All right, I can't wait. The secret is that I've got a recipe for a seed collector to sell sell you. Okay. So like I said, it looks like we're gonna be spending some big bucks today on new recipes and crafting some new things, which I am not opposed to. That sounds like so much fun. Now we need to go find Gina today as well as Shane and see if we can, uh, if we can get their quest filled and completed. Okay, let's go see. So, oh, uh, look at all the people we have to find on my map. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Maybe we should head into town and uh, go see some people. Oh, looks like, like they're hunting. Get them, get them, get them. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe it just seemed like that. The the little chopper was just running away, just trying to, to scurry away and hide. Okay, it looks like Tish is right there. Probably in the furniture store, I would assume. So I'm going to go talk to her and also take a browse at the furniture. 
I didn't change my outfit today. Dang it. I wasn't. I wanted to change my outfit every day. So maybe when we go back to the house, we can change my outfit. Or we can go to Jill's. Actually, let's do that. That sounds like fun. <gasps> oh my God. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Oh my God. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I need this in my life. But Bellflower, I told you guys, I've said this a jajillion times. The Bellflower set is my favorite set in the game and it has a fountain. I would expect nothing less from it, to be honest. But look at this. Yeah, we still, oh, that clock is beautiful too. The Dragon Tide set is really nice as well. But we've got, I love this banner. The Homestead banner is very cute. Hey, there's Tish, lots of people. Talking to Tish. Here's more of the Dragon Tide set. Again, just the beautiful blues look so cool. Moonstruck coffee table. Oh, is that a heart? No. <laughs> Industrial wardrobe. Beautiful. All the little trinkets and knickknacks and things. I like it. Right, we gotta talk to Tish as well, so I'm gonna join in the party here. <laughs> oh, it's so wonderful you stopped by. I was hoping you'd be the, uh, the first to see these. Oh. I just got these lovely rustic recipes in. I think they're delightful. She is so cute. <laughs> uh, why don't you take a look? I would love to take a look. What have we got? The glass furnace I also haven't bought yet, so I'm gonna buy that. But here we go. We got the homestead recipes. So there's a bed here. There's the cozy chair. These are only 25 gold. That is not bad. This dining chair. Oh, that plant I saw. Oh, I'm going to spend some money today. That's what we're doing. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Wait a second. Oh, you can buy these for the kitchen. I want to make a kitchen today. They have a dining table. I'm doing that. Oh, modification bench. I'm so curious about the modification bench. And it looks like the industrial set is possibly the next one we unlock. So that's really cool. I don't want to spend all my money on stuff, but I, I truly am really excited about all these things. And they're relatively cheap. Oh, I'm not even buying any of these. I'm just flipping through. Of course, you actually have to purchase. So I think what we're going to do today is just purchase the entire homestead set. I do want to decorate my home <laughs> for spending big bucks here, Tish, but we got to do it. We got to do it. There we go. There we go. <laughs> okay. Did we get that one? Oh, it's, it's going a little slow. I'm going too fast for it. And then the modification bench at level four. This actually makes me feel good because we're sort of ticking things off as we go. So once we get down to level four, or once we get to level four, then we can start, you know, buying these things down here. And I think that's going to be great. Okay, Tish, you've spent a lot of my money, girl. I, I have a, a lot of other things to buy. There's so many different ways to decorate with these. Let me know how you use them. I would love to. In front of the store highlights our rotating collection. I always love getting new pieces from vendors from all over Palea. Stop by again soon. Thank you, Tish. Oh my god, this fountain. <laughs> and it's gonna be gone in game tomorrow. You don't even know how like how much that hurts my heart. <laughs> but I mean, hey, I guess it's fine. It's fine. We'll be good. We'll get money eventually, and I'm sure I'll be able to see it again or unlock it again. But that that is my top wish list item at the moment, is that. Hey Jell, uh, what's going on with you? Yes, hello there. An artist's work is never done, but perhaps conversing with you shall give me such needed inspiration. I hope so. Good timing. I got some new silks in from the Aquindu province the other day that I think will do wonders for your com complexion. To my melancholy. Okay, beautiful. I do want to change my outfit. Now we've kind of been sticking with a similar theme. I've been sticking with this outfit, but just changing the color each day. But I'm almost wondering if maybe we should... Oh, there's dresses. That's actually so cute. Maybe change our top. Although I just love this top so, so, so much. There's a shorter version of it. Let's see. We've got tank tops for a really hot day. <laughs> uh, these are these are pretty. Really pretty. We could go with... I'm, I'm sort of feeling like a yellow set today. But I haven't worn pants yet. So should we wear pants? Maybe today we wear... Some cute little, oh, that's a cute outfit. 
definitely different, but I feel like we're doing the matching on matching color scheme. So it kind of, I think I like that. I think that's kind of cool. Switching it up a little bit. I like. Heck yeah, look at my thigh high boots. Ah, oh, nothing like a good thigh high boot. I love it. <laughs> hey, and there's two people we need to talk to right outside. This is perfect. Oh, let's go to Haas because, or um, Hodari because he's walking away currently. Hey, I need to talk to you. Don't walk away from me. <laughs> well, well, you're back again. Can't say I expected you to take uh, the mining, take to mining so well. Now, what are you going to need next in a way Oh, what you're going to need next is a way to repair your things. Yes, please. I already need it. Maybe I have something that I uh, can teach you. Here we go. Repair station. 500 gold. That's going to take all of our stuff. 10 copper bars and stone bricks. All right. Looks like we're going to need to get a little bit of copper today. Um, but I do need this repair station because my axe is pretty much broken. And I'm going to buy the iron bar recipe as well. We're gonna have to come back and get the silver bar recipe but i feel like i'm gonna have to have i'm gonna have to buy more things so i'm not gonna spend it all in one place even though i did kind of at tishes but it's fine so been making a name for yourself lately every time i go into town someone's singing your praise hey i gotta say that's that's a good thing it makes me feel like i'm working hard okay we lost ani ani where'd you go <laughs> uh looks like ani is in here potentially reth are you here reth is here i'm interested in uh, i do need to buy a soup actually let me open up my quest super quickly there was a uh, yeah i need to buy the hearty vegetable soup recipe and that's gonna be super easy to tick off so how do i buy that i guess opening reth's store probably is how we buy that hearty vegetable soup there it is okay and then the ramen recipe is next i cannot wait to unlock that guys we're spending money i'm glad i grinded for my money yesterday but oh man am i uh am i being a big spender today ani i've never seen you out here this is kind of a secret place for you to hang out but i like it so uh you want to buy some of this new stuff i got from the bug scouts i think it'll be good for me to get rid of it fast they sent like a lot of boxes. My mom is going to flip out. <laughs> There's the sticky bomb. That's the one that's new to us. And then the standard belt and sneaky bomb. I haven't done, I haven't bought any of this stuff yet. I'm wondering if I should. I don't, I don't know because we only have so much money left. Bug catching is kind of a secondary priority, even though it is probably my favorite pastime in the game. Um, only 32 more to go. <laughs> All right, Ani. Catch you later, okay? Okay, I'll see you later. Thank you, my friend, for being so cool. Um, but yeah, did I did I buy that that from Reth? I just want to double check. I did. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I just I I've learned my lesson from Tish where I didn't buy everything. Speak hey, Haas. What do you want? <laughs> dot dot dot. If you want to know my thoughts, wouldn't I have already told them to you? <laughs> Such a sassafras. How's Tao doing today? Hey, Tao. Rough, rough. How you doing, Sai? What ails you, my four-legged friend? Is Hossian being mean to you? Is everything all right? There's nothing to sigh about. How about, uh, what ails you, my four-legged friend? Uh, woo! -hoo. Would a head pad help? Are you hungry? Would a head pad help? Rough, rough. Oh, <laughs> building friendships with Chow. I love it. All right, let's go see if we can find Shane. There is Sifu. We don't need to talk to her today, although I'll probably uh, squeeze some time in later to talk to her. Uh, but I do want to go find Shane. I want to get to questing. That is my main mission for today. Looks like Shane is off over here somewhere. Oh, probably in the temple. I believe this is where Shane's temple is. This is such a cool build. I mean, it's, it is so beautiful on the inside and it has a little greenhouse. I would love if we could have a greenhouse in this game, very similar to this with like a glass roof. I don't know, maybe this is already a thing and I'm just not aware of it yet because we're only so far in the game, you know, but I really, really love this place. I also really want to be able to have custom windows. I hope that's something they add. Although you never know, you know, I don't know if they've, they're going to be able to do that, but we'll see. Uh, how kind of you to pay me a visit. So I wanted to ask you about the future. The age old question with only one answer, I'm afraid. All paths lead to it, though it needs to be the end of your journey, though it need not be the end of your journey. OK, all paths lead to it, though it not, though it need not to be the end of your journey. 
I'm talking, of course, about death. Oh my. An uncomfortable topic, to be sure, and in my time of the on this lovely earth, I have found it in all living things, things nature is to avoid that which causes discomfort. But death is our future, as well as our past. All things exist in a cycle. All loops must close. Think of this as you go to the remembrance garden and pay your respects. Here, you'll need this candle. Okay. The awakening of humans shows our world is shifting, changing. Some people, some people fear change. But the brave know how to embrace it. I pray the dragon Maji uh, gives me courage in these turbulent times. If you'll excuse me, I need to clear my mind now. Oh, okay. What are these? Little massage tables? <laughs> little, oh, they're probably like therapy, therapy tables. Oh, there's a floating pot here. That's a little floating pot. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, these things happen. So it looks like we need to place the candle at the Remembrance Garden. Okay. I believe that's here in town. Uh, we also need to go talk to Gina, who is going to be way over there. It seems as though the Remembrance Garden is a bit closer. So we should head that way. Hey, Choppa. Little cute Choppa running around. Probably like running for its life, actually. <laughs> There's a lot of hunters in these parts, I will say. Hey, Ashura, it's good to see you, buddy. Oh, wow. I've never been here. I feel like I've explored so much of this map and still I'm running into new places left and right. Look at these. I thought I saw... Oh, I can read this. The Bahari family. Make our home your home. Oh. So this is, this is the Remembrance Garden. This is where we go to... Remember the past, the Kalama family. Uh, we wouldn't be here without you. Oh, mm, I kind of like reading all these. They're sort of, sort of nice. The Amano family. The world is beautiful, and time is short. Change things. If you can, you should. <laughs> Change is to be welcomed. But it looks like this is where we need to place our candle, the Remembrance Garden. So, with all respect, we are going to pay our respects. There we go. <laughs> All right, we need to go back and talk to Shane, but I'm going to take a picture uh, just so I can kind of remember that we did this today. There is a photo mode. I don't know if I've showed you guys this actually in videos, but uh, this is it. You can actually take a picture with your character, go in, and you can save the photo to the album. You can switch the cameras to be the front facing camera. Wow, look at this view. Oh my God, that's beautiful. I'm gonna snap another picture. Oh, I swear every every place in this world is so scenic and gorgeous. The leaves falling and the wind blowing. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. I might have to come back and read everything in the rem re re Remembrance Garden. <laughs> Tripping over my words as I do. You guys are nothing new to this. You guys are not new to this, I guess I should say. I struggle with words sometimes, but I think a lot of us do. Hey, Shane, I'm seeing, I'm seeing double. <laughs> it's like deja vu. I think if we go find Shane, oh, there's Eshi. Hi, Eshi. Not in the mood to talk to you. <laughs> I'm going off to talk to Shane. There is Shane hanging out in town. Pretty easy to find. And we didn't get too far. The Remembrance Garden was really close. Hey, I need to talk to you one more time. The dragon is everything. The, the dragon is everywhere you look. If you don't see him, don't stop looking. I visited the garden. Wonderful. And what did you think? It was beautiful. It was bittersweet. It was lonely or uh, sure was quiet. It was beautiful for sure. Yes, the garden is where we honor those who have passed. It's a celebration of lives they lived. We remember every soul we've laid to rest and know that when it comes our, when it comes our turn, we will join them across the veil. Thank you, Nash. I will let as you know, you've completed my task. Feel Thank free you. To Thank you. Oh, very sweet. All right. It looks like we do need to go talk to Eshi. And we were very, we, I mean, we just passed her. So this should be easy to find. Should be easy to find her. Time is of the essence, especially for a busy woman like me. I've proven my devotion. I have been informed you have completed your lessons on a paleon culture. Henceforth, hey, we proved my devotion. Henceforth, it will be your duty to adhere to these values. They affect every decision a Palian makes. Okay, sounds good. What about uh, chatting with you? Got anything to say? 
Oh, I'm out on my evening patrol, collecting taxes. <laughs> the hooligans think they can get away with tomfoolery just because the sun's not watching them. But the joke's on them. I still have my eyes open. Well, you should have your eyes open on your daughter and Nayo. Speak to me again. Because they're apparently hanging out in the barns together. Doing some stuff, hanging out, you know? <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I'm still salty about it from last episode. If you guys know, uh, or if you guys missed last episode, I, I have a... Ah! I just jumped in the water. I thought that was gonna go across. Oh my god, that's kind of funny. Anyways, I had this big old crush on on Nayo, on Nai, uh, but apparently him and Kenyatta have a a thing going on, and I felt like I'm in this love triangle, and it makes me kind of sad a little bit. And he had me running all the way around town delivering carrots for him. And I figured out the secret of him and Kenyatta by doing that. And so I was doing all this stuff for him, trying to be a good, a good girl, <laughs> impress him. And it, it, uh, did not work. <laughs> Anyways, we need to go find Gina, uh, at the temple. I'm gonna assume I need to go off this way. Hey, there's a little choppa. I love looking at the choppas. I really want us to get some choppa plushies in the future. I think that would be amazing. But I'm gonna head over and find Gina. This might take a little bit of time here. Can I jump over this? I don't know if I should. I don't know if I should be falling in water anymore. All right, it looks like she is up ahead here. Oh, she's inside of this. So I'm glad I didn't go in here yet because I, I guess this is something we needed to check off later, but we're entering the ruins. Like I said, never been in here. So I'm tickling with excitement. Oh my, or have we been in here? No, we definitely have been in here, haven't we? Oh, man. Yeah, we definitely have been in here. What am I talking about? <laughs> oh, my brain sometimes. I just be forgetting. Also, there is a chest over here you can access with the glider. So now that we have the glider, we can go and open this. Ah, we got some unopened oysters and a treasure chest. Can I open this chest? I'm so intrigued by these. It looks like you can't. You just get the chest when you open it. Which is kind of cool then, though, because then you get to track your progress of what you've opened and, and how many you've opened and stuff like that. I think that's what it's meant to be for. Or if there's a chest over on that one. I don't think so. I don't think so. Anyways, time to go on over here. Check out the Phoenix Shrine. There it is. I wonder if we're going to get to use our glider and glide over this. Oh, I'm so excited, guys. Ah, this is so beautiful. And there's Gina. She's going to tell us what to do. Gina, fill me in on the secrets. Excellent, you brought the glider. I've been trying to figure out the purpose of this place while you were gone. Unfortunately, progress has been slow. I spotted something glowing across the gorge. Okay, I love glowing, shining things. Uh, it sort of reminds me of something I found near my tent. Likely human made. It looks like some kind of ancient carving. If only I could study it up close. That's why you've got me or want to borrow the glider. No, that's why you got me. I'm going on this adventure. <laughs> she says, right? Do your best and make your way over there and stay safe, okay? Uh, we'll do our best to keep uh, an eye on you. Okay, sounds good. Curious oh. colleagues. Oh let's, let's do this. Oh, I'm scared. So wait, okay, hold on. Do we want to go over that way? Is there a way to get up there? I don't know. Let's just, let's just kind of go down there. I think there's stairs, so we should be good. Okay, I don't know why I'm so nervous. Let's do this thing. Oh yes, I've been waiting for this moment since we first found this place. Oh my gosh, I don't know why I thought this was in the other tunnel for some reason. There it is. We did it, we made it. Now the question of how to get back over there. <laughs> is uh, gonna be something interesting, but let's do some exploring, my friends. This is so cool. All right, this is where I am in a dilemma. Do we go right? Do we go left? Do we go up? I, I really don't know. Also, are there any hidden chests that we can find? So I'm gonna take my time to kind of look around a little bit everywhere. So we can't really go this way. It looks like we can only go that way and this way. Let's go see what this door is over here. Does this open up? We can't, oh, we can read it. Okay, so we can read that. Any chests over here? This looks like a, a place I can climb. 
Ooh, an ancient tome. Cool. We have been here too long. Without the sun, I cannot say how long. I simply know it has been too long. You can tell by the looks on the other's faces. Hunger, fear, anger. They are being consumed by emotion. They have left us with more questions than answers. So the only response is fear. Wow. So I can't pick that up. I can just read it. Okay, interesting. We're going to probably find a ton of different tomes and things around. That is so cool. All right, let's read this. The strange writing says storage in the human language. There are additional carvings below it that are hard to make out. The door won't budge. Okay, so it looks like we definitely have to go the other way. Looks like there was some kind of storage here in this empire. Very interesting. Oh my god, this is just gorgeous. <laughs> this is fantastic. Okay, I think we're gonna go straight and then we can go up later. There's probably more tomes or things for us to read. So yeah, here we go. Another one. I sit here waiting, wondering. I wonder whether you make it to one of the other temples in time. I wonder whether those temples held up at all. I wonder when we all see each other again. Dear Glauca, if you are reading this, know the one thing I do not wonder about is our love. No matter how angry the other the others here get, it is that love that keeps me grounded. I hope some how or another that you can feel it too. We will meet again one day. Alba. Oh, it's like a love story. So maybe they're falling off these books and these tomes are, are part of the love story. Oh, it's so sweet. What about this one? Let's inspect. This place has been abandoned for a long time. The door ahead seems unopenable. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I think we can get through this thing. Figure it out. So here's another doorway. Oh. Oh, yes. Okay, guys. So I actually played around with this. And this might be the thumbnail of the video. I have no idea. But this is a geyser. And these are so much fun. If you stand in it, it starts to bubble. And it will shoot you up in the sky. <laughs> and then you use your glider to get on up. Uh, da -da -da. And look how cool that is. It is so much fun. And you can even see the geyser. It will stay stay going after it is so fun <laughs> and they have those in bahari bay so if you guys are wondering they have a couple of them in bahari bay that you can go and jump off of do we have a puzzle do we get to do a puzzle oh this is so much fun okay i can't wait hold on okay yeah we can actually use this oh, okay i can't promise that i'm gonna be good at this but i am i'm somewhat excited so can i yeah i can move it like that okay this actually seems maybe easier than i expected okay Actually, probably not. <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of mess around with this a bit. So the tail actually looks really good. We need this tail piece to move. Yep, we need this tail piece to move here. That connects there. That's good. This goes down. That goes over. Bada boom, bada bam. We did it. Oh, that's amazing. Not too bad. I did that so quickly that I, I did not to toot my own horn or anything. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, that was one of four. Did you guys see that? Puzzles went wet. Wow. We did it. So that was one of four puzzles. Nice. I kind of wish I went through that a little bit slower because now I'm like, dang it. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> That's really cool to do. A thing I love about these puzzles too is that when you do them over again, um, it can be kind of hard to remember exactly how you did it the first time. So it's going to be kind of new each time very sick gosh i'm having so much fun with this game <laughs> oh it's so cool okay so we we solved the puzzle so now we just got to return to gina i guess is the way we do things here there wasn't any extra tomes or anything that we missed although oh wait literally one right here <laughs> uh these people have been t uh these people have begun to shun me they think i am the one keeping them here i simply do as i was told guard the puzzle prevent anyone from touching it what we should do is there so there's other doors and stuff but they don't they don't seem to open so i think that this is probably where we leave we leave here i guess okay so now we got to get back over to gina 
and we probably could go over there and then climb up but one thing that i wanted to try was actually going back onto the geyser and oh wait wait a second wait a second wait a second we didn't go up the stairs and there's like a little door here i'm not done exploring <laughs> must explore everything what is this uh the symbol seems familiar it inspires a vague feeling that there may be others i don't know what any of this means but this is so interesting we're, we're definitely gonna have to talk to gina but i think yeah so gina is that way so if we get in the geyser i think we could probably make it fully over just gotta stand the right way this is so awesome <laughs> See how high we go and then we can go wee. Oh, I think we'll make it. Yes, 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 yes. There we go, we did it. So take the geyser, that'll get you there. Hey Gina, we found some very interesting things. I'm sorry if I'm staring at you, it's just part of my research process. So someone was trapped here or explain what happened with the puzzle. Maybe someone was trapped here? I found some similar concerning things. It seems like it was for their protection, but from what? Exactly, yeah. What's going on? <laughs> um, we need to find out more before making any conclusions. I think the temple's puzzle was hiding something or explain what happened with the puzzle. So it seems like you can either kind of talk to her in a long form way or you can just kind of get it over with. I think I want to talk to her. So I think the temple's puzzle was hiding something. I doubt it's just one thing. Humans ha have a lot of secrets. Many we don't know about. The Academy may, may know more, but they won't be forthcoming. We'll have to do our own research. What do you think it is? Or this is risky. Should we stop? No. What do you think it is? I don't know. When humans disappeared, a lot of their records went with it. I think these places may be key to the truth of it all. So the image I saw was some kind of ancient puzzle. And you heard a sound when you matched all the, pi the pictures up. Like I said before, there's another one of these in the ruins across the river from my tent. Hmm. Maybe we should check it out. They might be responding to your presence. So me, Gina, in the ruins near Hecla's tent. Very good. Okay, so we might not uh, do the rest of this today. I don't want to get it all done in one day. I, I, I'm ex I am excited about it, but I do think... Ooh, tattered journal. How have I not seen this? Um, but yeah, I don't want to do it all in one day. I want to space it out. And that was such a fun adventure. But I've come to believe this place was called the Temple of the Waves. I was sent to explore it to ensure the village in its shadows is in its shadow is safe. Who were these people? Why did they build such a significant structure only to lock it away? It looks ages it took ages to acquire what was needed to open the outer door an ancient battery of sorts and now i am faced with yet another obstacle this new door is covered in an ancient language one we cannot yet understand there is no slots for another battery zedric is calling me from the entrance it appears our battery is failing my time is short perhaps someday someone shall solve the solve this puzzle if you're reading this you may be that person best of luck to you the spirits of the spirit of kilima is behind you k bahari interesting haha <laughs> okay i love getting all this this backstory and information it's really cool we're starting to uncover what is going on here and what is happening beautiful i love it all right so there's uh plenty of things we need to do back at the village i do need to refill some quests so hopefully there's some easy ones and i also did want to craft the stove and the prep station and start doing a little bit of cooking uh, cause I do need to get that skill up first of all, but I also just haven't really, uh, I guess I did decorate my house. I need to show you guys that, but I want to decorate it a little bit more and have a nice little kitchen area. So let me meet you guys back at the house. Here we go. We got a little bit more money. That's pretty good. Always a little reassuring. Now, did I show you guys my house? I don't think I have yet. So, uh, I added my bed, little nightstands some more uh bugs and uh fish look at this and a little sitting area which i think looks really cute from the crafting recipes that i unlocked we have our our table and this is sort of like my bedroom area so i did want to go over here and like i said make the cooking station and whatnot 
So I believe that's going to be here in the crafters. We also got the seed collectors, which is ready to craft. I can make one of these. It's going to be a good way for us to get money. Glass furnace is also ready to craft. I do want to make one of those. But first things first, stove. I can make a stove. Let's do it. Oh, my first stove. Ah, cooking stations. Place your stove. This is where a majority of recipes are started. Beautiful. Okay, and then what about the prep station? We will need this, and I also need to get the repair station. I think I need like 20 copper for that, though. And that's going to take a, a hot minute to do. <laughs> but we're going to have to move some things around here in my house. Let's see. Where should I put you? I don't want to cover the windows. That might be a little weird. I could put this here. But then again, covering a window. Um, hmm. We'll just put it in the middle. <laughs> Moving furniture in this place is so easy. So I think I want my kitchen kind of off to the side here. We don't have too much to make our kitchen look like an actual kitchen, but it will, it will suffice. We'll put that there. Start recipe. Choose a dish from the stove and hit make. Make dishes requires prepping ingredients at other stations. Once all the ingredients are in, a final stir will start this, this soup. Uh. So now we have a little stove. We're going to put this right next to this. Right about there. Cool. Stove, you've placed your stove. Most dishes start here by cooking. Use other stations too. Place your prep station nearby and you can start cooking by interacting with the stove. All right, easy peasy. Now, where should we put this thing? Maybe we just put it over here and maybe this kind of looks like a pantry. Like this is where we put our bread and stuff and then we can cook here. You know what I'm saying? I think that, I think that would work. Another thing that I have yet to do is open up my oysters. Got another pearl. We got... We, we've been lucky with that, I gotta say. I'm... that I think that's awesome. Okay, so cook. What have we got here? This is gonna be a little bit interesting to make. So, we need any spice and any vegetable and then required produce. We need a mushroom. So, do I need to have these in my inventory? Okay, so stove. We need any vegetable, any spice... And chopped mushroom, chopped mushrooms at the prep station, and then we stir and make, mix it together. Okay, so prep station. So do I need to bring this stuff over here? Do I just not have this stuff? Because I do have this mushroom, and I do have, uh, I do have spice sprouts, and then I don't have a vegetable. That's a thing. Oh, I do have garlic. I don't know if that works, though. Oh, I do have I, I do have a... We can make some carrot soup. <laughs> we can make some carrot soup. Okay, so if we go to the prep station, maybe it can't be star quality is what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay, so yeah, see, these are all star quality. And I do have some of these that are not star quality. And that's the only thing that I have that's not star quality. So potentially that could be... The reasoning behind it and if that's the case then i'm gonna need to go find a mushroom and then i'm also gonna need to get my crops grown here uh, so i'm gonna have to wait for those so it looks like cooking's gonna be a little bit on the back burner but i also need to get more plots like this so that we can get more crops growing specifically for cooking uh because that's going to be better for getting us some more focus and things like that later uh, but yeah that's that's pretty awesome let me put my pearl away Nighttime is a great time for foraging. It looks like it's about to be sun up, which is kind of good too. I also wanted to go back to Bahari Bay and try to see if we can go into those mines. I'm really intrigued by those and want to see what they're all about. So that's probably uh, a big thing that I'm going to do today. But let's see here. Uh, let's see if we can find any mushrooms. It's kind of our main focus. I believe going over to where the entrance to Bahari Bay is, is a pretty good place to find mushrooms. So if we kind of loop around here, there's like a, there is a little loop you can take. It's kind of back towards the shrine. There's usually maybe a few mushrooms. I think sometimes. I feel like I've seen them out here, but honestly, I could be mistaking it for another place on the map. This map is so big. Hey, 6 a.m. I wonder if we got any mail. I totally just left it before that. Yeah. Oh, there's some copper. Okay, I really need copper. 
there's going to be some things that we have to craft with copper, um, such as the repair station. And look at my tools, guys. My axe is almost done. My pickaxe is on its last leg. That's the thing about upgrading your tools is they start to take durability. These starter tools do not, I believe. Uh, so once you upgrade, things start taking durability and you're going to have to start repairing them. All right, not a single mushroom on my journey. But we are really close to Bahari Bay. Ah, there's a mushroom actually. Wait, yay! I, I thought I saw mushrooms kind of over in this general area. That's quite nice. That's a star quality one. I don't need star quality. I just need regular quality. There we go. There's a regular quality one. I'm going to pick up a couple of these. There's also so many um, Cernooks here, I think is what they're called. I should just call them Sirs. Hello, good sir. <laughs> You're roaming the fields today. You having a, a good afternoon? Carry on. <laughs> I'm gonna go over to Bahari Bay. I think it's time we check out these mines. I'm intrigued. Oh, I love a morning in Bahari Bay. Oh, I wanted to show you guys those uh those blaster thingies too. They're they're super cool. I'll show you where they are on the map. And hopefully, I can get a picture of me doing one because it's it's so fun it's so fun uh but yeah i wanted to head over and check out these mines i hope i can find one i feel like there's several different entrances or at least a couple different entrances to these mines and oh oh man i don't have i don't have an axe for that i'm so sad so there are um so that's called the flow tree and that's one of the bigger flow trees and you need an upgraded axe um i would need an an up a steel axe i think not a copper axe there's another one here. Oh my gosh, there's so many. There's so many, that sucks. Here we are. There's the mines, my friends. I guess we're gonna go inside. <laughs> I am so excited to see what's inside here. I've never been inside here. I do not know what to expect. I don't know if this is where you mine, if this is rocks, floating bushes, eh? Okay, it looks like we can go that way. I also don't know if this is gonna be a quest later that I need to complete, but it looks like there's all different kinds of ways that you can go. So we're going to keep exploring the mines here. Let's do this thing. What's that water there? I don't know. <laughs> uh, so, so far, I'm like genuinely not seeing any rocks. Here's a big old dead end. I thought maybe I could climb up there, but that's definitely not a thing. There's no rocks here unless a lot of other players have come and kind of mined everything out. Maybe that's potentially a thing, or maybe this is just a huge labyrinth that you follow and and there's not actually rocks in here to collect. I don't know. Um, whoa, I heard like a cool sound. Oh, look at that. There's a this is so beautiful. Plants and things. Okay, that's the way out. So if we go down here, is this is this just the place to fish? <laughs> like, there's not actually anything in here. It's really crazy. Ah, there is someone fishing down here. This is so... Oh, yeah. Check it out. There's tons of iron here. Okay, I don't want to use too much of my pickaxe, but this is definitely where we can come and actually get some iron. Beautiful. So it's it's good to know that there's little nodes in here. Yeah, so you can come down here and get some rocks. Very, very interesting. Collect that up. Some stone. And then this just goes back out to the other side here. Interesting. There's a little crab we can catch and another crab we can catch. Holy moly. This looks like the other side of like the temple ruins. This is so wild. Yeah, this is this is definitely a new place. I don't know if we should explore here yet. We're not quite there yet. We will come back eventually. But it's cool to, to be able to see this. This is so just wow. I've never I've never been here. Can I get out of here is the question. Yeah, this looks like a giant area of temple ruins that we're we're gonna have to come back and explore later. But it does also seem like hopefully I can get up this way. Maybe? No, we might have to go back through the mines. Okay, I think I'm gonna go back through the mines. That's the easiest way. And I guess maybe do a little bit of mining on my way through. Looks like we follow him. <laughs> I wasn't intending to explore the mines a little bit more, but there were some places that we didn't quite see yet. So, hey, maybe, uh, maybe we do this. Whoa, okay, so it looks like this goes down to the top. Looks like it goes more into some temple ruins that we probably don't want to explore quite yet. Again, this temple is something we'll come and do later. 
uh, just because I want to take my time with this game. I don't want to just rush it, do it all in one day. I want to I want to sit back and enjoy. And I also want my levels to kind of match up with the things that I'm doing in the game. And a couple of my levels are still like level two. So I'm feeling like I need to improve. And that's probably something I'm going to spend a little bit of time doing tonight. Oh, here's a geyser. I get to show you guys. This is so fun. So again, similar to in the temple, you get to just kind of stand on this thing and swoosh. <laughs> it is so cool. And then you can see it's still going back there. That is so sick. Ah, oh, I wish I could get a picture of it in time. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got a picture of the geyser. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. That is exactly what I wanted. Oh, that's so cool. I don't know why I'm so excited, but I am. Oh, yes, baby. <laughs> okay, I want to ride it one more time. We're going to get out of here. I think this is pretty much all we had to do in Bahari Bay. I need to fill a couple more quests and I need to make that hearty vegetable soup. So, uh, yeah, it's time to head back home. Yeah. <laughs> this is so fun. I'm going to take a picture on my... Ah. You can't really take a picture of you on your lighter. Actually, you can. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, hi, guys. <laughs> that is so funny. Oh, oh, I'm on the rock. Oh, hi, guys. Hi, my name is Nash, and uh, welcome to my channel. I uh, would like to welcome you to today's paleo video. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. Is this the funniest thing I've ever done? This is so good. Oh, I love this game. <laughs> I love this game <laughs> so freaking much. It's uh, it's something else. Another place we haven't explored is the lighthouse. I would really like to do that in an upcoming episode. Again, I'm just trying to space everything out so that we, you know, have something fun to look forward to in each episode. So that's probably going to be a future one. But I'm just taking my time, you know, sitting back, enjoying, enjoying the process. But I definitely want to go check that out eventually. But right now, I think my stomach is rumbling and I would like to go home and make a little bit of hearty vegetable soup. So what we're going to do is we're going to go buy a crop from the store just because I kind of don't want to wait for crops. And this way we get to pick what kind of soup we want. So here we go. 180 for a freaking potato. Oh, that's crazy. But honestly, potato soup sounds like the best. It is also my favorite. If you guys have ever been to Outback Steakhouse and have their had their potato soup, it is my it's like one of my favorite meals in the entire world like their potato soup is my absolute favorite and so i would love to recreate a little potato soup here in palia or palia um so yeah that's what we're gonna do i got the mushroom got the potato is there anything else that we needed although i would never put mushrooms in my potato soup i'm not a i'm not a mushroom girl not a mushroom gal <laughs> Uh, don't, don't like them very much, but, uh, and I think my grandma's actually allergic to them, so we just never have them. My tomatoes were ready! <laughs> I guess we could have made tomato soup. That is definitely another form of soup. But let's see if this works. So do we need, uh, not good quality? <laughs> not good quality, not star quality. There we go. So yeah, it seems like once we got the, the, the ones that's not star quality, use star, oh, wow, we could have checked that, and you can, you, Okay, wow. <laughs> I need to be a little more observant and we didn't have to run around, but we got to go explore the mine. So, hey, it ended up working out. But anyways, so we can make this. We need to do click. Okay, so prep station and then make so we can make. All right, so we need to. Oh, this is so cool. Look at that. Our soup is going. Okay, so we can go here. We can chop. Oh, this is sick. Okay, so wait until a moving blue marker is just close enough to the large white marker. Then click, left click. Okay. Oh, all right, three, two, one. This is like a mini game. Boom, 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 boom. Ah! <laughs> wait, that's so fun. It's so interactive. That's so fun. Okay, so we add the ingredients. And then to stir, press and hold blank till stirring is complete. It's that simple. There she goes. 
Hardy vegetable soup. That wasn't too hard. Oh, did that and that made three of them? That made three of them. Whoa, that's gonna get my cooking level up so good. Oh, we gotta go talk to Reth now about how we're cooking like a like a champion. Oh, that's so fun. Okay, we also got a letter from Gina. Akla and I discovered a runic look on the door in the runes near our tent. Uh, we could use some help finding the key, but like only if you're up for it. I'm up for it, but it's probably gonna have to be another day because we have so much to do. We gotta go talk to Reth and talk about cooking. I want more recipes now. I wanna unlock ramen. Oh, I am gonna be cooking all night. It's gonna be so much fun. So I'm assuming that Reth is over at Jell's place. Yes, it's looking like so. Let's go see if we can find him and chit chat and talk about the cooking in the in the not in the furniture store in in this place. Gonna <laughs> try my world famous soup? Of course, anytime. Uh, what can I do for you? I made some soup. Nice work making your own vegetable soup. Oh. Coming to claim my soup master. Uh, coming to claim my soup master title, huh? I'm looking forward to the challenge, but in the meantime, I've got a little something for ya. Quest complete. Awesome, Reth. I don't really tend to go to the inn for fun anymore. When you spend 12 hours a cycle at that place, it tends to keep, uh, to kind of lose its je ne sais quoi. <laughs> All right, so, oh, he gave me Reth's potato soup. Hey, I will gift you Nash's potato soup. <laughs> Wow, soup, you really like that gift. Is it a food? Is it a drink? No one knows. <laughs> but either way, I'm a big fan. Perfect. Stop by again soon. Thank you, Rath. You're you're so fun. You can never go wrong with soup. He is seriously war he's warming up on me a lot. Um, cause Nio, Nio's a player. <laughs> hey, it looks like you come back to taste uh with a taste of my food. Smart choice. Lucky for you, I always keep a flask or two of soup handy. This week's special is my world famous vegetable soup. It's been a, a special at the inn for weeks running. And that's not just because it's one of the few things I know how to make. Here, why don't you take a free sample on the house? Uh, so what do you think? It's delicious. It has a lot of lettuce. I hate soup or mm, lettucey. Let's, uh, I feel like our friendship would get up if we say it's delicious. So, really, that's a relief. Some find my approach of using lettuce as the sole vegetable in the soup a bit controversial. Uh, yeah, I guess I've never really had a lettuce soup before. It's definitely interesting. You can never go wrong with hot, soggy lettuce. I don't know about that. I think you definitely can. Uh, still, I've been getting some complaints from our regular dinner crew. They've begged me to make something, literally anything else, but I don't know. None other recipes have really caught my eye. And calorie? Sal salary? Calorie? Uh, won't let me in the library anymore after the bull base incident. <laughs> Interesting. So yeah, we do need level three to get uh, the ramen recipe and the mixing station. That's going to be fun. Look at this standard oven, meaty stir fry. Oh, I can't wait to cook more and get more recipes. That's... I got my hands full right now. I, I really thought like, I mean, I love the interior decorating in this game. And that's definitely a thing that I want to do more and more and more of. But I just, the cooking is now seeming extremely appealing to me. So that is so much fun. But you guys, I think that's going to have to do it for this day, for day three of Paleo. I'm probably going to do a little bit of grinding as usual, just on levels and stuff like that, because uh, that's, yeah, I, I do want to get through some of my levels. I need to do some more fishing and bug collecting, because I think I'm still on level two. In fact, let me actually just show you guys what levels we're at. So next episode, you can kind of see where we are. But yeah, we're still lacking on cooking, so I'll probably do a little more cooking. Uh, try to get up to level three of that. I need to do gardening big time, so I'll do that off camera as well, because it's literally just me planting, watering, picking, planting, watering, picking. You guys have seen that a drillion, a, a drillion times, a a million times. I feel like we're doing pretty good on everything else. I would like to get most of these up to level four, but these two are the ones that I really, really, really need to work on. So in between episodes, those are going to be my main focus. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. 
I will catch you guys in the next Paleo video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying Paleo if you're playing it yourself. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I hope you all have a very beautiful, wonderful day. And I will talk to you in day four of my Paleo Let's Play. See you guys. Thank you.